When you first dig on the internet, you're going to see all kinds of crazy theories. Worms, Martians, columbola, chemtrails. Few patients go public with a diagnosis of Morgellons disease because of the ridicule and doubt that can follow. One celebrity who has spoken about having Morgellons is singer Joni Mitchell, who was recently hospitalized in Los Angeles. See, I feel like digging that out right now. It's that uncomfortable. Several of my patients would have these strange fibers coming out of them. Lesions that would spontaneously appear and very slowly heal. Filaments, black specks coming out of the skin, joint pain, fatigue, sleep disturbance, brain fog, the list goes on. Morgellons disease is a delusion. Morgellons is a real disease, there's no question about it. You can only have so much skin shedding and like bleeding before somebody notices, but you have to make something up or say it's something else because there's no such thing as Morgellons disease. I made the mistake of saying Morgellons. The ER physician actually escorted me out. My discharge instructions were quit picking at yourself. It takes tremendous courage to look at a situation and really ask yourself if you're being delusional. This is what mental illness looks like right here. Borrelia seems to be present in 100% of the Morgellons samples that we've looked at. Our conclusion is that Morgellons disease might be a manifestation of Lyme disease. Don't jump from, hey, she's got a little spots on her, to, here, take a freaking happy pill. That's what you do, and you shouldn't be in medicine, Bubba. Morgellons and delusions of parasitosis are exactly the same thing. And we need to educate young doctors that Morgellons disease is real. You think that all those labs are wrong? Oh, obviously they're wrong. It's ridiculous. Our right to decent patient care is real. He would say, I will get Morgellons disease recognized in my lifetime or I will have died trying. And he died trying, but I'm going to do it. Our suffering is real.